Hi, y'all. So this is uh, video two of our coding mobile apps using the book three, Coding for Kids. And today we're going to start on our first project. So that's going to be really cool. We're going to make a cool game. So this is called the one. It's called Crush the Ant. So it's on page 19. So Crush the Ant. The idea. Ants are invading the phone display. Crush as many as you can to gain points. The game is timed. The game. The screen will show a simple green line. Click on the start button and ants will appear one at a time from the right. When you see the ant, crush it with your finger. Challenge your friends who crushed more ants. So just looking at the game, like learning about it. So I think we'll need to make ants move across the screen, so movements. And then there's going to be a start button. Remember, we looked at what buttons were last time. They're components on what we're going to see on the phone. The score, so we need a variable. Remember, score is a variable. They go up. So once you crush ants, you earn a point, right? And time, it's going to be time 30 counting down. So what we see here is the component, and we need to like make code to play the game, right? So that's going to be fun. So what you will learn, move the image sprites, set a game time, start the game with a button, assign scores. Materials. You'll need some image files. You'll find them on the support site. So this is the support site. Let's go. So you all will need to type this onto your uh, search. So white star dot it slash coding dash app slash. So remember to do this. And then for some reason the page is in Italian, but just download the English version right here. So. So it's downloaded. Let's go back and start the new project. So let's start new project. Let's call it Crush the Ant. And project names cannot contain spaces. Crush the Ant. There's going to be underscores. That's OK. OK, so here's our new project. This is a layout you'll have to follow to insert the elements of the interface one at a time. Connect to App Inventor 2 and click. OK, we started the new project. So there's going to be an ant lawn. There's going to be a start button, a score label, time label, points earned, remaining time. So this will be the component section, right? The designer. And then the blocks, remember, they're for the code. We'll have to do that later. So let's first do the designer part first. To begin, you will have to assign some values to the properties of screen one. Right now we're on screen one, it says right here. And you can add screens, and this is probably how you're going to switch between them. So the properties are the name and the icon for the app that will appear on your smartphone, and the screen's title. So this will be the app. Like on your smartphone, when you see the bunch of apps listed, this is what it's going to look like. So the app name is going to called is called Crush the Ant. The background color is gray, so let's change that. Right now it's white, so gray. And the icon. So let's open the zip file from before. Uh, so remember to click the second file. So the media file per volume coding. Double click it. And this is our project, right? Crush Ant Media. And this is the icon. So let's drag the things we're going to need, drag it to downloads. So I'll replace the file. So drag it into the download so you don't have to because it has to be moved out of the file. 
Okay, and now let's icon let's upload a file. So there's going to be a picture. This is the icon. So this is what you're going to see on your phone on the app. Let's press OK. OK, so the lawn. The ants need a lawn to move on. You have to prepare the display on a canvas. So I'm trying an animation. Remember, we did this last time. There's the user interface, layout, media, drawing and animation, and canvas. So let's draw, drag it to the viewer. This is the viewer. Drag it on the screen. And then these, this right now, we're on the properties of the canvas. We can switch by clicking around here. So properties of the screen, properties of the canvas. Right now, canvas. So it says to make it green. The height, 70%. And the width, fill parent. So it's going to fill the entire horizontally and vertically, it fills 70%. And now it says let's upload media files. So the ant on and the ant off. Okay, so on drawing animation, press image sprite and drag it in. Okay, whoops. Okay, and then we have to drag it onto the canvas. And it could go anywhere because the starting point will be defined in our programming blocks in our code. So just put it anywhere, it doesn't matter. On the properties, you have to sign and block on to picture. So picture right here, press it, and ant block on. Press OK. Ooh, look, there's our ant. Isn't that so cool? Made an ant appear on your screen. OK. Now let's rename it from image sprite one. Where is the name? Right here. Okay, rename right here. So, yeah. It's important to label our things so then we don't be confused later. Because remember how we could choose between them? Canvas one, image sprite one. You don't know which image it is. But if you see ant, you know it's the ant. So, a button will start the game. So, it's our user interface, the button. So let's drag it and put it under the canvas. Oh, that's cool. So remember, don't put it on the canvas, under. So properties, font, bold. So we need to check this. Font size is 14. Okay. The width is fill parent. There's going to be, ooh. And then the text is start. Wow, that's cool. I made a button. Okay, and let's rename it to button. How many ants can you crush in 30 seconds? So we need the counter, right? So horizontal arrangement. So this is layout. Horizontal arrangement right here. So let's drag it to put it under the button. And for width, let's do fill parent. Wow. Inside horizontal arrangement, place two label components from user interface. So label. One. 
too. What happened? Oh, we have to put it inside the box like this. Oh yeah, because horizontal side to side, right? I get it. Okay. So yeah, remember we need like one that's gonna be like label and one that is, is cool. So so for label one, we need to rename it to label score. This one we need to rename it to text. Because this is just going to say, like, this one's just going to say score, and then this is going to tell you the actual score. If you just put like a number there, people don't know what does the number mean. But if you just put score, they'll be like, what's my score? So you have to put both. Okay. Properties of the label one um, is background. Color is white. So. Font is bold. Width is 40%. And the text is score. So the second label, text score. Background is white. Going to be bolded with this parent, and the text is zero. Okay, and for the time, you have to do this two same thing drag another component called the horizontal component. Remember. So that's how we fill two things side to side. If you don't do that, it's just going to be like one thing, like the start button, right? Put it under. And then we need labels from user interface. One. What? Why won't it go in? Why is it so tiny? Okay, <laughs> it went in. So I just put it on it almost. Okay, so we need to rename this to label time. Rename this to text time. Label time. It's going to background is white. It's going to be full. This forty percent. The text. Works for label two. With its fill parent. Is there. Why isn't this filling the parent? Excuse me. Let's see what's going on. 
Why doesn't it go inside? Did the horizontal component not work? I think so. Let's try again. Here. Uh oh. Where do my labels go? <laughs> Let's delete this. I'm just going to press the delete button and see what happens. Oh, let's do that. Oh, wait. If you look at the text time, can you? Can I move it? No, I can't move it. Oh. Where is the horizontal component? Why is it not going in? Mm. Interesting. Okay, I guess let's just I'm just going to let's press the horizontal ooh the horizontal arrangement. Maybe let's make this the width fill parent. Oh now it's fine. Hmm. Oh whoops. <laughs> I forgot the step from the layout. Check horizontal. Arrangement and filter. Okay. Make sure to read your steps carefully. That's what I need to do. There's a time span and when for the game and a pause when an ant is crushed. Since the ant works on a smartphone, why not add a vibration when you crush the ant? So your phone vibrates, right? Now we can use that. We could use that cool thing that's built inside the phone. And it's pretty cool. So from sensors. Dragon the clock inside the screen, and it doesn't matter where. So, it will appear under the viewer among non visible components. Yeah, it is non visible, right? You could display. I don't know. Okay. So, let's rename it to timer pause. And then drag another clock. And we have to rename it to timer game. And from both clocks, we need to remove the mark, the check marks, timer always fires, and timer enabled. Remove both of So from the media, drag the component sound. This is also not visible. Rename it to vibration. And there's no properties <clears throat> assigned here. 